Good morning, everybody. How are you doing today? I hope you are having a great day on purpose. Amen. This is Chandra Davis here with your five minute words of encouragement. Today is Tuesday. So happy Tuesday to everybody. Amen. Just getting on here really quickly to share with you, to encourage you what I felt like God wants me to encourage you on today. So today I just want to share with you that less is more. Amen. And so it's so important that we understand when Mary and Martha, uh, they, they went to Jesus. Martha went to Jesus arguing. Good morning. God bless you. Went to Jesus arguing saying, hey, listen, aren't you going to tell my sister to help you? And he said, listen, Mary, you're worried about a lot of things. You're busy about a lot of things. He said, but listen, he said, only few things are needed. Amen. And Mary has chosen a better thing and it won't be taken from her. So I just got to hear to encourage you sometimes less is more amen listen it's a lot of things that can be on our mind and we could worry about in this thing called life amen but there are a few things that are needed we need to sit at the feet of Jesus and find out what he's saying concerning us Jesus has already overcome the world and so can we he told us to be of good cheer because he's already overcome amen everything he did he did for you and I amen and so there are a few things that are needed and one of those few things is Jesus amen it's so important that when we're raising children it's so many things we could teach them but it's so important to teach them the important of having a relationship with God because few things are needed in this life amen and and what Mary has chosen won't be taken from her Every, whatever we do for God will not be taken from us so it's so important that we pass that along to our children that we teach them the importance of having a relationship with God and all the things that we could teach them everyone has blind spots they're going to be everyone falls short they're going to be areas that we all we miss it but let's not miss God amen let's not miss the few things that are needed less is more as you go through your job as you go through life making choices as you're going through the Bible says that the blessings of the Lord make you rich and add no sorrow so many of us are going after these things you know we serve a God of more than enough but unfortunately if we don't watch our heart if we don't guard our heart we can shift over and begin serving the God of more always wanting more getting more of things that bring us sorrow later the blessings of the Lord make us rich and add no sorrow later amen some of us we walk through the door of the new car the new house the new spouse and now you know we we, we are stressed out about it we're worried and doing so many things and God told just like Jesus told Martha you're worried about many things you're busy about many things but only a few things are needed amen listen everybody just got on here really quickly to encourage you to, to remind you that less is more with god amen only a few things are needed we need to sit at the feet of Jesus so we can know what to do, what not to do. Just because it looks like an open door, just because it looks like a good opportunity, it doesn't mean it is. Amen. And so listen, how do you do that? How do you get less when we live in a world where so many people are serving the God of more? We serve the God of more than enough, not the God of more. But it's so easy to shift over if we don't watch ourselves, watch our, our desires, watch our heart. Amen. Listen, how do you do that? How, how do you get to a place of less? is more it all starts with jesus it all starts with believing that he died on the cross for you for your sins and he was raised on the third day amen and confessing him as lord over your life amen and so listen it's so important that we understand that savior we make him savior and lord savior is we accept his free sacrifice but lord is we lay down our life it's not us that live but it's him that lives in us so that means we become a living sacrifice we deny ourselves we deny what we want in life we pick up our cross whatever he called us to sacrifice daily and we follow after him listen we invite you to do that now and if you've never accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior he said the thief comes to steal kill and destroy but he comes to give you life and that more abundantly he would love to give you that abundant life and we welcome you we invite you to accept him now maybe some of you have accepted him but then you picked up your own life. You decided you're going to do what you want to do in life. Listen, God said he's married to the backslider. He's faithful and just, amen, to forgive you and not only forgive you, but cleanse you of all unrighteousness. Don't believe the lie of the hyper grace message that you can, you can be saved, you can be a Christian and live however you want to live. It doesn't work like that. He said, if anyone wants me, you have to deny yourself, pick up your cross daily, and follow after me. It's unfortunate that the Bible says that the kingdom of heaven is like 10 virgins, five are wise and five are foolish. Only 50% of those virgins got in amen that's how it is going to be for the church he says going to be many that say to me lord lord listen didn't get on here for that but just wanted to encourage you to let you know that sal that salvation is yours today repentance is for you today amen we serve a living god he loves you he's rooting for you don't believe the lies of the enemy that you can live your life however you want and you are still a christian if you're a christian we die and he becomes our lord we live life how he wants us to live it amen listen we would love to walk with you connect with you show you how to make less more uh like us here David 
David Sips for Daily Living. Look out for our life coaching, David Sips 365. We would love to walk with you. Connect with us. I'm Chandra Davis. My husband's Anthony Davis. We're senior leaders at Kingdom Awakening Church. We meet every Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and we meet on Tuesdays, 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time. We pray. We're praying tonight. Join us. Connect with us. The Bible says one can put a thousand of flight to 10,000. Amen. And so it's so important that we, that we understand that we weren't meant to take life alone. We were meant to connect with other believers. Amen. So listen, just got on here really and quickly just to encourage you that less is more trust god amen only few things are needed in this life and one of those few things is sitting at the feet of jesus listen everybody enjoy the rest of your day and make it a great one on purpose